Hi everybody and welcome to this uh, last video on of the research project, uh, teaching research project, mainstreaming sexual and gender related violence sensibility into university course through photo voice experience. Uh, nowadays we are going to talk about ethical recommendation uh, to work specifically with these techniques and on uh, GRV. Uh, this video has been produced uh, by G Rocio Gar Garrido from the University of Seville and uh, Alejandra Raiza from the Autonomous University of the State of Hidalgo. Uh, my name is uh, Barbara Biglia and uh, I'm working at the University of Rovire Virgili and I'm going to be the presenter of, uh, of this material. Let's start then to analyze this, uh, this ethical recommendation. First of all, um, why we introduce this video in, uh, in the context of this project? Because uh, uh, participants in this experience are the one who collect the information or, pro or produce the knowledge. Therefore, uh, we are, as a researcher and teacher, we, are, uh, an we have to acknowledge our responsibility not just in relation with the direct participants, so the students, but also with the people they, uh, inter in, they interact with for making their photo and their narrative. In this sense, uh, it's extremely important that uh, as teacher, we have also a training, a specific training uh, on ethics, uh, or we uh, look at information about this, uh, this uh, Mm, element, okay? Uh, another important uh, thing uh, is that in photo voice, uh, like in most uh, participative uh, uh, active uh, research, the agency of participants is a key element. In this sense, uh, we cannot think ethic uh, independently from them but we have to negotiate the ethical element and the agreement with our participants. Uh, we have divided or we have uh, uh, highlighted four uh, elements that we believe have to be in, uh, negotiated with participants and with which we have to take particular uh, uh, care, okay? Let's go to see each of them individually. First of all, um, people that, uh, uh, if when we are talking about the representation, okay, so the image, it's extremely important that uh, the people that uh, uh, is photographed, if, uh, if there is any human subject in the photography, this person uh, uh, is uh, uh, agree with the fact that is, is getting represented in the picture, okay? So, um, we have to teach students how to do it and also how to represent in an innovative way that maybe didn't show the image, the face of the person, didn't make uh, people recognizable and uh, uh, especially when we are talking about uh, elements that uh, may put at risk the safeness of the people represented, even if we didn't think is a particularly dangerous uh, expo exposition, it could be for someone else. So the informed consent is the first element we have to take in account. Uh, that is exactly to maintain the safety and the protection of all the participants. So we are talking about our students again, and again, all the people that can be involved in the picture, okay? But also uh, on the uh, material we are using, for example, uh, uh, cameras, and obviously this safety and protection have to uh, be respectful of the normal regulation of each places. Um, finally, and when we talk about the use of the picture in uh, the exposition, for example, uh, we have to be uh, aware that it's not the same to give a consent to the use of a picture in a course group 
or to expose it in internet, for example. So any uh, element or any use of the picture have to be negotiated and have to be sure for the people that appear in the image and in the story. In this sense, it's uh, also extremely important uh, to make students think critically about uh, how does representation, power, and objectification can uh, be reproduced in their own picture. This can be done uh, in the phase of the analysis, for example, and that can be uh, critically analyzed in order to not reproduce stereotypical vision of minoritized group um, that pretend to be progressive or transformative, but can finally be exclusionary or showing power dynamics. Uh, so uh, this is a work, an ongoing work, that have to be done with the students uh, when they, before they do their presentation, when they have already represented, and especially when they choose which image to show for the diffraction uh, of the, or the social uh, influence of the project. Here we have an example of uh, an, an image that have been taken in a previous project, uh, realized by Rocio Garrido y Aloe Cubero, uh, in which, for example, they want to represent uh, the street vending as a form of economic resistance by migrant women. As you can see, they have uh, included the woman in the picture, uh, and uh, the woman is uh, not uh, in a vulnerable position, but uh, is in an uh, active position. Nonetheless, because she is Actually, she is doing something illegal, so they decide to protect her, not showing her face in the picture, because the consequence of it could be uh, strong for the women. So, uh, now we, we move to another aspect of this uh, ethic process that is more related with the dynamics in the classroom. Uh, talking about using the photo voice specifically for working on sex and, uh, and gender-related violence um, is also an experience in which participants, our students, will be uh, acting, will be working, will be showing themselves directly to their colleagues and classmates. In this sense, uh, is extremely important that we as teachers are able to create a safe experience space in which students can uh, share their experience without uh, any risk and uh, in comfort and uh, having a good relation between themselves. In, uh, for this reason, it's good to establish rules together that uh, can be contextual, for example, if uh, people didn't want that, uh, what is talked within the group uh, is uh, uh, also uh, narrated outside of the group and they want that nothing can be uh, communicated. Or if they want that, uh, the confidentiality as protection is more related with uh, the who is the person that uh, have made this picture, but not, for example, on the picture in itself. Uh, this is extremely important, and also to create this uh, safe uh, space, uh, it's also good that teacher uh, have um, no uh, resource in the neighborhood that can be put at work if uh, any of the students uh, uh, speak out about uh, uh, her personal experience of violence. Um, finally, uh, another element that is always important when we, talk, when we work on uh, gender-related violence uh, is the fact that uh, re-narrating a story of violence can uh, uh, bring to a re-victimization. Uh, because people judge you, because uh, uh, you are put in question or your story is put in question. In this sense, 
is extremely important that uh, as teacher and supervisor of the debates, uh, we work, we are uh, particularly attend to this uh, uh, dynamic and uh, we work with students in order not to reproduce this revictimization. So, let's uh, see, we, are, we have talked mostly about this uh, division of traditional hating, even if we, we intercepted it with some element of uh, feminist perspective, but uh, we want to uh, mention how this traditional hating can be also um, interconnected or should be interconnected with uh, the relational ethic and the situated visual ethic. Um, basically, we already introduced some of these elements, but we, we want to align them explicitly that they are um, connected with this vision of relational ethic being a relational project. Okay? Uh, between the principle of uh, this uh, ethic is the uh, in committed interaction so the committed uh, interaction between the students and between the students and the, and the, and the teacher. So how each of us uh, committed with the topic, uh, with the respect, uh, and with the safety, for example. Uh, in this sense, the mutual respect, the recognition that the knowledge is embodied in the sense that it is uh, expressed uh, through the personal experience of the people, so it can be true or false. We have to respect this element. Uh, and also the vulnerability and the uncertainty, I'm not able to pronounce it correctly, but you can read it and understand it, that it can provoke the fact of uh, talking about this personal experience, this personal violence experience. Um, also, we have to uh, be uh, aware that uh, we are in an interdependent environment. That means that even if we work with a specific class, this class is in the context of, of a university. This university is in the context of a city. And what we are doing in our small place, in our small group, uh, is interconnected with uh, all the other. So when we think about the ethical element, we cannot just refer to the small group we are working with, but also with uh, all the context, okay? Therefore, uh, we... Uh, I light again the importance uh, of uh, the taking the decision collectively. Finally, as the last element we want to highlight uh, uh, again uh, is uh, the ethic of the situated visual, uh, the situ sorry, the situated visual ethics. Um, it means as we highlighted at the beginning of the of the PowerPoint or the of the video that uh, all the elements of consent, anonymity, and confidentiality have to be negotiated and flexible and can be different from a context to another, okay? Uh, and also, we have to understand that uh, uh, the sensibility of to, to the picture, for example, to what is represented in a picture, can be very different from a context or another. For example, how we represented uh, uh, explicitly some element of violence uh, can be extremely uh, reproducing violence in itself in some context, or can be more much, uh, um, or more or less aggressive in some other context. So. Also, the way in which we use the image have to be understood contextually and have to be uh, used with a specific care of the space and the context when we are uh, using it. We hope that uh, uh, we highlight some of the key points of the ethical elements. I'm sure that there is uh, much more. Uh, but uh, you can continue to uh, inform yourself about ethics. That is always uh, an ongoing process. Thank you to Rossi Alessandra for this uh, material, and thank you all.
of you for listening the video or watching the video. Bye.